Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I got a new shade of the About, about Face uh, Performer Foundation. I had Medium Deep 3 and I picked up D1 Neutral. I think it's a much better um, match for me. And I wanted to do like a mini get ready using it so you guys can see. Um, if you haven't seen my initial review, I absolutely love this foundation. I just had the wrong shade. All right, so a lot of you guys have been asking me about the Juvia's Place Radiant Boost Booster. So I wanna show you guys how I use it. I have it in shade two. So I swipe it on just like, like I'm using a foundation. So like so. And this has like a little bit of coverage, guys. So if you like that no makeup makeup, which would never be me. <laughs> I'm doing a full beat. You would probably like this and I'm just gonna go in with my Sephora brush and just blend it out. It's beautiful. Um, I think it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. It's the closest dupe I think compared to anything else I've used that has been similar. All right, as you can see, it has a little bit of coverage, and I also want to show you guys how I color correct. So I'm using my NARS color corrector. This is in the shade Sunfire. It's the one in the pot. I really like it. So I just go in with a little brush, and this is what it looks like. It's like a, it's not a dark, dark peach, but it's peachy. And I just put it right where I have my hyperpigmentation, like right around this area. And I'm using this little brush by Pat McGrath. Yes, I still own it. This is her concealer brush. It works very nicely for this, like the color correcting. So I put it like right around this area where I have any sort of like darkness. And of course, I'm gonna go under the eye where um, I can't seem to get rid of the hyperpigmentation like under my eye and I've tried everything pretty much. All right. And now I'm going to go in with D1 neutral. I chose the shade because I saw on TikTok Jackie Aina. She, I'm usually, I usually wear the same shades that she wears. And when I saw her with the D1, then I saw a lot of my shade twins using D1. I figured... Um, I'll get this. I wasn't sure about Ulta's return policy. I've never returned anything to Ulta because I didn't have the plastic that came with it. But then lo and behold, I decided to, you know, double check my recycle and there it was. So I was able to get it. So I had no problems bringing it back. And as you can see, look at that. It's a beautiful match. And this, to me, this is, it says neutral, but this is a golden neutral. This is not like... Because I've, I've had some neutral shades that are neutral to the point it looks brown. This is a golden neutral. I have I wore it um, when I got it, so I know it's a beautiful match for me. Oh, I thought I felt something on my nose. I'm just going to blend it out. I just wanted you guys to see. So if you had looked at my video and we are shade twins, and unfortunately maybe I had influenced you to get MD3, This is a much better shade. And if you guys watched that video, you clearly saw how it just was not my shade. It was sort of light and it had like olive in there. This has more of a richer, more golden undertone. But of course they're saying it's neutral, but for me, it's a golden neutral. See that? Much better, much better um, shade match. This foundation is so pretty. It's so nice and radiant and creamy. It's almost like a liquid or heavy cream in a bottle. That's how it like feels on the skin. All right, so I used my new favorite, the L'Oreal, the True Match um, Serum Concealer. I have it in the shade N8. 
love this concealer. So as I've been doing, I'm going to spray my face with my Gucci spray, mid, mid concealer blend out. And I've just been loving this new technique. And then I let it sit on my face for a little bit. And then um, I blend it out. I'm going to use my LYS contour stick today. I have it in the shade Strength. And I'm going to put it on before I blend out my concealer. I've been trying something new. And I sort of like this too because it gives me more of a guide as to how far down I bring the concealer. And it's been helping a lot. Okay, so I went into Sephora after I returned, um, after I exchanged this foundation at Ulta because they're in the same vicinity. And I went to swatch the Patrick Ta, his new, um, blush duos. I didn't get any. I'm so happy <laughs> that, that I wasn't tempted. So happy I wasn't tempted. I had to run and open the door. My son forgot his key. Yeah. What was I saying? And the one that looks sort of like, do we know her? Um, the sort of orangey shade. I mean, I swatched it on my hand, but it just kept I did so many swatches. I swatched it. I went outside. I came back in. It just looks, it just looked pink on me. It looked pink. No matter how many swatches I did, it looked pink. The others were too light because she's so LA, that nude one that I have, the one that was similar to that, barely showed up. And the pink one just looked it would not have been the right shade for me. So I was so happy. I was like, oh, I got spared. All right. So before I go in with powder, I got one of the new, one of the new LYS, the cream blushes. It comes like in the same sort of packaging, but this one more has like a fluorescence to it. And it's not brown. It's like a pinky fluorescent sort of dual chrome cover. Now I got the shade Courageous. Um, because... One of my TikTok faves, she went to the makeup show in Atlanta and she was swatching them because Vanessa Myricks um, was there. And I saw this beautiful orange shade, but when I went on Sephora, they did not have Courageous on there. I don't know if it has changed since because this was almost a week and a half to two weeks ago. Shipping was very slow. So I ordered this directly from um, the LYS website. So this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful orange shade. It has like a like a gold shimmer as well. Look how rich it is. I mean, talk about pigment. It's stunning. Um, I didn't put it on my face yet. I wanted to wait to do it on camera. Now, my struggle with creams, and that's why I've been obsessed with the Patrick Ta, um, his creams, because I know they can sit on, on liquid foundation. I know they can sit over powder. This one, I'm not sure. So I'm a little nervous because I don't want it like picking up my foundation, you know, or um, or my concealer. So I'm going to do it first. I'm going to swipe on the face and then um, this is me trying to squeeze out my beauty sponge. And then I'm going to try it um, with a sponge. sponge. So... Let's swipe it directly on the face first. Mm. Where am I going with this? And then I'll take the sponge and blend it out. Cause I'm afraid to use my fingers. I feel like when I use my fingers, that's when, I don't know, for me, it lifts up. Like most of like the cream blushes and stuff. That's pretty, right? Let me see if I can see like the shimmer cause oh, I can definitely see it. Oh, it's nice. It has like a goldish sort of shimmer. This, this is going to be a beautiful 
summer shade. All right, so for my under eyes, I'm still doing like layering with the two powders, but I got this Jaclyn Hill, her brightening and setting palette. I really like it because again, um, my fave on TikTok, she uses it. She uses a lighter version. I got this at TJ Maxx. It was six bucks and I really like it. So um, I've been going in with either of the top shades. So today I'm going to use this shade and I'm just going to set down my concealer before I bake. And these are really, really good powders. Like all her stuff that she has that's done well, it's really done well. The only thing I think I didn't like from her um, was that concealer. Everything else, she did a good job with everything else. So I've been putting this down first. See, it's very pretty under eye, very pretty under eye. And then of course I've been going in with um, my kimchi. Um, I like how my cheek look a little wet. I'm going to try to keep it that way um, <laughs> as much as possible because I really like how it looks. I'm just going to set this down and I'm going to bake a little bit. I never thought I'd like baking. I, mean, I don't bake for long, but I do like it because before I would just, you know, like swipe it on. I've really been liking this, or I don't know if maybe it's the kimchi powder, and I have this in the shade Suntan. And of course, I'm going to set with the Rare Beauty um, Loose Powder, the Always an Optimist. I have it in medium deep. And this is sort of like a dewy powder, so I don't think it's going to take away from that sort of um, glow that's on my cheek, and then I'll just go over it with highlighter. I think it's going to look... Um, pretty. It's a beautiful shade, but I think it's definitely more of a summer shade. I don't really wear stuff according to the seasons and stuff that much, so I don't really care, but this really would be a good summer shade for sure. Just removing the powder. And I more press it in, then swipe it off. I push it into my skin. All right, guys. So I added a little bit more because the powder took away some of the color. And it didn't lift up my, um, my foundation or powder at all. It did a good job. I mean, I did it very, like, gently, but... Did a good job. All right, so I'm just gonna go in with my Gucci bronzer today in, um, I think this is the deepest shade, it could be five. I'll have it like, listed in the description box. This is nothing new. I was looking for the new one that supposedly have the new packaging. I don't see it. I looked for it in Sephora when I was there. Had no business looking for it because to buy something just for the packaging is kind of crazy, but I blame it on, you know, I say, oh, you know, I'm a makeup collector. <laughs> this is what I say sometimes to justify the nonsense that I do. Because it has a dip, but it hasn't even hit pan. So I know I have no business doing it. Okay, so the part that I've been looking forward to, I'm going to put some of my highlighter over the blush to see how it looks. I think it's going to look stunning because it has like some, it already has like that kind of like the gold reflex. I think it's going to look nice. Ah, oh, yep. Pretty, very pretty. This is the Valentino Bright Dream. This is going to look so good. I mean, today's a nice day. Today's, very, today's warm. I think we're in the upper 50s. Probably could hit 60. There's nothing like a good... Why am I putting so much on? There's <laughs> not like a good orange blush on deep skin. Mm. I like it a lot. All right, I'm going to set my face and I'll be right back. 
right, guys. So I purchased um, one of the new Anastasia, um, the ABH, her lip velvets. I've been hearing so much good stuff about this formula. So um, for liner, I used Make It Forever Limitless Brown and um, Wet on Wow's Simmer Down Brown. And I got it in the shade Peachy Nude. I wanted something like really nude. I love how my cheek looks with this sort of orangey look. Okay. It's just what the applicator looks like. Mm, feels creamy. It's coming out looking slightly on my skin tone. It's giving like a purpley undertone. Am I seeing right? It feels like it doesn't feel like a lip lipstick. It feels like there's nothing on my lips. I like that. It's pretty. All right, guys. This is the finished look. And I'm so happy I got the right shade. Because it just made a whole lot of difference. Of course, my neck is always going to be lighter than my face. Yeah, it is what it is. But... This definitely looks more golden. This looks better. I didn't have to do a lot. I didn't have to use two concealers and all that stuff. I can just go in with one concealer. It's so beautiful. And if you guys haven't gotten your hands on this Radiant, my, mine is going to be finished. On this, and When I went into Sephora as well, I was looking for shade 1 or 0.5. And shade 2 is still the darkest shade that my Ulta has. So I don't know if they probably don't have all the shades. If you haven't gotten your hands on this booster, give it a try. And um, this foundation is very, very reasonably priced. Beautiful. I love it. I It's my new favorite foundation. And I really like this LYS um, blush stick. I'm not surprised. Everything from her, she just, everything from her is just fire. Really, really beautiful. And um, it will be great for the summer. The Anastasia lipstick. Love this formula. It feels like nothing is on your skin. I'm not sure about peachy nude. Because especially now that it's settling in, there's a slight purplish tone to it that I was not expecting. I thought it would be more peachy, but on my skin tone... Maybe on my lips, because my lips are darker. It's giving more of like a purpley look, look to it. So I'm going to manipulate it a little bit after I get off camera. Maybe add some more of my brown lip liner. But I love the formula. And um, I'm going to look at the other shades and see if maybe I can get like a more nude shade with not so much peach so it wouldn't look as purpley. All right, guys. This is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.